I was working on an adoption series called Thursday's Child. And back in the early 80s, there were a lot of social service cuts in the budget nationally. And so there were a lot of needs for foster kids. And as I was doing that adoption series, I became aware of some of those needs. And I would go out in the community and I would speak about these issues. And at the end, they would take up a collection and give me money. And I'd come back to the station with all this money, and we kind of put our heads together and decided that, you know, we opened a bank account and we decided we'd start a nonprofit. Through social workers or medical professionals or therapists, you know, they come to us and say, we have a need for a child who needs something and something unique, and those dollars go directly to helping that child. Clothing, shoes, bedding, there have even been instances where there were items that the Love Fund generally didn't carry, but they worked really hard and they kept on it and they were able to get them for the families. Medical device or another kid with eyeglasses or another kid with an iPad for school. I think of the things that, that have been purchased over the years that have helped kids' self-esteem or blossoming talent, a music instrument, uh, going to camp. Her teacher told me about the camp. We already had sorted out our upcoming budget and didn't really know where we were going to pull any extra money from. It seemed like something that would help enhance our quality of life and that's pretty important for anybody growing up. Felt like they cared and wanted Peyton to go as well, you know. It seemed tailored to her, which will benefit anybody, you know, whatever they need. And it'll help the families and it's, it's a relief to have, have a little bit of have a little bit of help. <laughs> Once Cupid was diagnosed with autism and everything and then he transitioned in the school, it was difficult for me to get him a new way to vest. If you're on a fixed income and cannot afford to buy one, then it can be pricey. It was overjoyed for me when he got when I got the call and saying, Hey, his items are in. How can we get this to you? Children like Cupid, they have emotions, they have a mind of their own. It's just a matter of providing what they need to unlock those emotions and thoughts. The one, I guess, that got to me in the very beginning was when this little girl told me that she didn't want to go to her adopted family with all her clothes in a brown paper bag. And I thought, this is the kind of thing the Love Fund can do and make such a difference in that child's life. We passed around some letters uh, through one of our board meetings and one just really hit me hard from a kid named Omarion. Uh, he wrote a thank you note that said, thank you for the new clothes. I've never had new clothes before. It's very rewarding to, you know, collaborate with an organization who's going to be able to assist you and then just to see the relief and the happiness on their face. A lot of the bigger charities, they take a whole bunch of products and distribute those products. We can be a little more laser focused on what needs that some kid doesn't have in our community. If you're a medium income family and you have a child with a devastating medical needs, you're not going to get it because your salary is doesn't fall into some crazy guideline. And so that's where the Love Fund can fill in the gaps and really make a difference in a child's life. It's a wonderful thing, and there needs to be more donations for, to help parents and kids that can't afford to get them on their own. You know, it's good to help people that otherwise might not get it. There's a lot of kids out there that could benefit from something like that, you know. If you're donating to the Love Fund, you are really making a difference, and you're putting a smile on people's faces. Every kid should have the same opportunity whether it's social or developmental or educational opportunities as every other kid in the community. It's needed more now, I think, than it was back then. And I'm just so glad that the children of Kansas City have the love fund that they can still depend on after all these years.